I'm Heather Leslie, and I'm an assistant professor at Brown University, and I study coastal ecosystems and the people who are part of them. So you might ask, why do we need to do this now? Why is it so important not just to sustain the, the level of funding to the National Science Foundation and NOAA and other agencies that support ocean science? Forty to fifty percent of uh, humans on the planet live within a hundred kilometers of coasts and that number is only expected to grow in coming decades. And when you look at our ocean state, the state of Rhode Island, uh, more than $175 million every year pours into our economy from wild fisheries and from aquaculture activities. Right now, um, we have a really exciting but challenging situation in the U.S. We have the first ever U.S. national ocean policy and a, a, a big focus of our research in recent years has been to uh, synthesize and share information that can help inform the implementation of this national policy. The National Ocean Policy is definitely a step in the right direction. It's the, the first time our nation has, has stood up and said we, we need to do a better job as a country stewarding our, our ocean waters for national security, for uh, our economy, for, our, for food provision, for energy development and the like. So in very um, different ways but very important ways, the health of, of coastal communities, of human communities more broadly depends on the integrity of coastal and marine systems.